During the early years of its establishment, Joseon faced conflicts with Ming over the issue of Jung Dojian's proposed conquest of Liaodong. However, after King Taejong took power, Joseon pursued a policy of diplomacy with the four major powers, avoiding unnecessary conflicts and maintaining friendly relations, which contributed to political stability and sought economic and cultural benefits. The diplomatic relationship between Joseon and Ming was conducted through tribute and investiture. Joseon used the Ming era names, adhered to the four courtesies, and sent emissaries regularly and irregularly to Ming, including dispatches for seasonal festivals and other occasions, carrying documents and tribute goods. In return, Ming reciprocated with advanced Chinese cultural items and goods, necessary for Joseon, facilitating mutual exchanges. Joseon pursued a dual policy of toughness and appeasement towards the Jurchen, granting positions and land for settlement to cooperative or naturalized people, to assimilate them into Joseon society, and established trading posts in Kyungsheng and Kyungwon to conduct border and national trade. In Hanyang, the Bukpyeong Guan was established to accommodate and entertain Jurchen emissaries. However, Joseon mobilized the military in response to Jurchen invasions or raids. During the reign of King Sejong, Chor, Yun Dok was dispatched to the Amdok River area to set up military garrisons. And Kim Jong Seo was sent to the Tuming River area to establish six military camps, securing the modern-day border along the Amdok and Tuming Rivers. Additionally, a relocation policy was implemented to move residents from the southern provinces northward to open new territories and strengthen national defense, and local residents were appointed as local officials to suit the populace. Joseon also pursued a dual policy of appeasement and toughness towards Japan. They mobilized naval forces and repelled Japanese pirates when necessary, but also allowed limited trade when Japan requested peaceful trade relations. Joseon sent missions to Japan and the Japanese Soviet sent missions to Joseon, fostering exchanges. Trade was generally conducted around foreign offices, established in towns, and with Tsushima through a tribute system. Joseon provided goods like hemp cloth, fine silks, patterned silks, medicines, tripitaka koreana prints, stationery, and books, while importing copper, sulfur, pigments, spices, timber, and pepper from Japan including raw materials for weapons and luxury items. The 80,000 Tripitaka Koreana print, sent by Joseon, significantly contributed to the development of Buddhism in Japan. And cotton had a revolutionary impact on Japanese life. The major problem in relations with Japan was the Japanese pirates, as attacks by Japanese pirates along the Joseon coast did not cease. King Sejong ordered military campaigns against Tsushima. The pirates faced and halted trade with Japan. When Japan requested to resume trade, King Sejong opened Busanpo, Jepo, and Yompo in 1443, and an agreement was made to allow only 50 ships to travel annually. With the increase in the Japanese population, living in the designated ports in the 16th century, social problems arose. When Joseon limited the control over Japanese and the amount of trade, the Japanese in response caused the Sampo disturbance in 1510 during the reign of King Jungjong and the Yulmyo Rebellion in 1555. During the reign of King Myeongjong, consequently, Joseon established the military strategic office, Byeongja Hori, and cut off diplomatic relations with Japan. Joseon also engaged in trade with several Southeast Asian countries such as Ryukyu, Siam, and Java. These countries brought their specialties and exchanged them for Joseon's fabrics, stationery, etc. Trade with Ryukyu was particularly active, with Joseon sending Confucian classics, Buddhist scriptures, bells, and Buddhist statues to Ryukyu, contributing to cultural development. How will Joseon's history unfold further? We will provide a detailed account in our segment on the Imjin War.